Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a super exciting video and very special. I have my mother with me today who I wanted to introduce to you guys. She wanted me to create a makeup look using the Naked Smoky palette for a smoky look. So mom, say hi. Hi everyone. She's, I'm so excited. She's Can't very wait. excited. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. That's it. What, what do you think? Was that good? Yeah. That's good. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it recording? Yes! <laughs> well, that was a funny intro, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm going to start by priming Mom's eye with the Original Primer Potion by Urban Decay. Just so that the shadows last all day. And then I'm taking the Naked Smoky Palette. And I'm going to start off with the shade 13, and this is going to cancel out her discoloration that she has on her lid, and also set the primer in place. Next, I'm going into the shade Whiskey, and I'm going to pack this all over her lids, and then also blend some of it into the crease. This is going to be our base shade. And then I'm going into with the blending brush by BH Cosmetics and just blending out all of the harshness of the shadows like to make. I'm then going in for the lid shade and I'm using the shade Radar and I like the shade to use on top of Whiskey because it gave it a sheen but it was also like a topping. I thought it was really nice. So I just applied that all over her lids. And then I make sure everything is nicely blended with the blending brush again. Then I'm moving on to Black Market with a pencil brush from Sigma. And this shade is going into her outer V. I'm also concentrating this shade on the lower lash line, outer V, and just a little bit in the crease, not too much. And then I'm also smoking it out and just buffing it out really nicely. Then I'm going with this shade from ColourPop. This shade was released when they were having their birthday bash party going on. I forget the name of it. I believe it's called Birthday, but I thought it was a beautiful golden shimmer. It's just shimmer. I love that you can just place this off top of a shadow and it looks gorgeous. So I wanted that extra sparkle. She loved the glitter, so I went ahead and applied that. And then I went back in and um, touched up the black market because it was faded a little bit. And then I moved on to the shade High, and this is a really beautiful shimmer. It's a light shimmer, so it's not overly too shimmery, because I wanted to place this in the brow bone, so I highlighted the brow bone with this shade. And then I went back in with a blending brush again, and just to make sure everything is nicely blended and there are no harsh lines. Moving on to the face, I am going to prep her skin and prime with the professional. She does have an oily t-zone so I like to con concentrate this in the areas where she's most oily and then she wanted to moisturize her lips so I just used a soft lips soft lips cube moisturizer balm. <laughs> I moved on to her eyeliner because I wanted to get that done before applying foundation and I'm using the Jessie's Girl Black Liquid Liner and just created the wing that she wanted. Real quickly, Mommy wanted to take a puppy break with Junior.
And now back to the show. I am going to be using a Real Techniques Complexion Sponge with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And this is the shade Natural Beige. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over her face. For concealer, I am using the Maybelline Better Skin Superstay Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Medium. I went ahead and concealed her under eye dark circles that she has, but also I wanted to highlight just some of the areas of her face as well, just to get the most coverage, and I also blended that out with the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. To set her foundation, also the concealer, I decided to use the e.l.f. HD Finishing Powder. This powder is really, really good. It does come out clear, but it does tend to leave a little bit of a white cast, but I tried to blend it out as well as I could with the sponge, and then there was a lot left over just to set the concealer, so I went in with a stippling brush to blend it, and Mom just found it super ticklish, so I had to take some breaks in between. I thought it was so funny. Moving on to her brows, I am using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in, I want to say brunette, yeah. I just lined her brows up just a little bit. She already has full brows, so I just decided to shape them up and fill them in just a little bit and then blend them out. And then to set the brows, I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gels just to keep her brow hairs in place. And then I moved on to the lower lash line and I used the same three colors that I used on the top. I used Radar, Whiskey, and Black Market. And I started with a angled liner brush and then I went in to blend out the rest of the colors because I was trying to be as precise as I could and stay in the lower lash line. But at the same time, I was considering the fact that Mom was a little sensitive, and her eyes were beginning to water also. And so I went in with the shade High again, and I used that shade to highlight her inner corners. And then I just went back in with a blending brush and just blended out all the shades that were on her lower lash line. Moving on to the face again, we are using the Contour Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I use the two shades, the cooler tone to contour and then the warmer tone next to it to bronze up her skin. And I just contoured the cheekbones that she had and just around the forehead on the sides of her nose and also her jawline. Next, I'm taking this Milani Rose Blush in Romantic Rose. It's a beautiful mauve pink. It's a little darker than pink, but I wanted this look to be subtle but not intense at the same time, just because the eyes are definitely doing the talking in this look. Next, I'm moving on to highlighter, and I am using the Tried and True Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and I just hit her highest points of her cheeks, down the bridge of her nose, above the brows, and also in the cupid's bow.
And then I went back in with my large stippling brush and blended everything together. So just everything would just melt into each other. I just love the effect that that does when everything is blended into one. Next we're doing eyeliner and we're using the Perversion Eyeliner 24-7. I believe it's the Matte Liner from Urban Decay. I very carefully folded her lower lash line just for it to come out slightly enough so that I can line them. And then I moved on to mascara. I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in black. And this mascara, like I said, it's amazing. It brought mom's lashes up amazingly. And I didn't even use a curler. She doesn't need a curler. Her lashes go up no matter what mascara she uses. For the lips, I decided to do like a nudie pink lip, so I moved on into using the Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick in Duchess, and I went ahead and just overdrew her top lip just a little bit because she does have a smaller lip on the top, and she really enjoyed this color. I thought it would, I thought it went great with this makeup look. And that completed the makeup look. I went ahead and fixed her hair just a little bit. It was already styled and it was very voluminous so I just brought it down and just styled it up a little bit and just gave it a little bit of wave here and there with my fingers and that is it. That's the complete look. So that <laughs> So this is the final look. What do you guys think? Doesn't she look beautiful? <laughs> Beautiful. I really huh? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, this it. she is gorgeous, beautiful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Give this video a big thumbs up if you'd like to see mom in more videos. Don't forget to subscribe just so that you won't miss out on any new videos. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. recording right now so it's a bit hey guys welcome back to my channel I have a very special video for you today I have what the heck is that ready <laughs> oh god <laughs> Baby. <laughs>